Hey guys, you may hear about Pixelmator Pro. It's a great Photoshop alternative for Mac users, but today, today we are not going to enhance images. We are going to test this software for vector graphic user, all right? So can Pixelmator Pro do vector graphics? Let's find out. So I'm going to create a blank project. I'm not loading picture today. I will just make a blank A4 paper like that and let's dive into vector tools so if you go all the way down on your tool list you may notice there is a dedicated tool for shapes we got the classic combo of rectangle rounded corner rectangle oval shape it's also a few below here like polygonal star shapes so all of that is here but there's also a shape menu that you can click on that will give you this option here in the panel to explore the whole library of shapes take a look there's a big library of vector shapes all of those objects are vectors that we can scale up and down and we can also apply vector actions on them we can use pathfinder actions on all of them so let's explore those four actions that all of the vector programs really need so let me just draw a basic stuff, maybe this heart shape. All right, and then I will draw another shape. This time maybe the star. Hold shift for one to one proportion. And of course, all of them are vectors and vectors are really easy to modify properties like colors, stroke around the shapes and all of that stuff. All right, we got two shapes and now we wanna try to make the boolean interactions between them the vector interactions right so select both shapes and then be sure the move tool is selected the very first tool on the list you will see a section called combine when you can add them together measure them into one shape let's undo we can subtract in that case, the top shape will make a hole in the bottom shape. We can intersect when we got only the intersecting part left. And finally, we can have a difference of intersection like that. The cool part is if you open the layer panel, you can still see both original shapes and the action applies. So I can change from this exclude to unite later on. So that's really handy. All right. So we can draw vector shapes and we can combine them is there a proper pen tool to our disposal yes there is take a look there's a pen tool here it's classic pen tool when you simply click to make notes let's try this out so if i click i will make i make notes that are connected with line and i can close the shape this way and we can fill the shape with color no problem i can double tap on the shape to move those notes around I cannot grab the line between them, comparing to like Affinity Designer, but I can still double tap on the node to make those control points come out that I can move around. All right, so it's serviceable. It would be better if you can grab the line on its own, but you can just learn how to work with nodes. I believe that's how we worked for so many years in the past. So that's definitely doable. All right, so we can use this node tool to modify nodes in existing vector shapes. All right, so that's the pen tool. Let's try the pen tool one more time. This time, the proper way, if I press and hold, I can start making curvy lines. So it's not only for making straight line, it's a normal functional pen tool. The pen tool is all right. It's also pencil tool. In this case, they call it like freehand pen tool. It's under, take a look. And as you can guess, in this case, you're just drawing the line. And then if you go to the end, it will snap nicely. So I really like this snap. It was a problem in, I think, designer for many, many years. And now it's all fixed. They fixed the pencil tool in version 2.5. It's way better now, but it took them a while. And let's inspect notes. It's nice. There are not too many notes. So it's, it's really good on that regard. All right, so we got shapes we got combination of shapes we got pencil tool and pen tool so you can do all of the basic vector editing you can make icons you can make logos pictograms and you can load svgs from the internet and modify them so you can recolor them and save them back 
as SVG. All right, so even though this software is mostly for photo editing, all of the basic vector tools are here. It's nothing crazy. This We don't have like proper shape builder tool and stuff like that, but all of the basics are covered here. And if you got raster image, let's try with that. All right, so I just loaded this raster image. Let me just scale it down a bit this way. Too big, okay. With raster images, we got a something called quick vector mask as well. We can head to here to the layer panel, click mask, and you can click custom shape. And remember this menu of different shapes? We can use the very same menu. So now I can put this very quickly in the hard shape that is a vector hard shape very quickly. And then we can customize this. We can change the shape if you need. So that's handy, all right? So vector, vector tools are available in Pixelmator. Pro, something that not many people point out. They usually focus on photo editing tools. All right, I hope this was helpful. And if you would like to learn more about this great software for Mac, I have prepared a three hour long class that go all around the interface and explain what is possible with this great software. Not only photo editing, we'll cover photo editing, of course, but also how we can prepare stuff for print, how we can use all of those other tools as well, all of the filters and everything really. So it's around three hours long. If you would like to like deep dive into this great software, I will drop the link to the class in the description. Thank you for today. See you in the next one.